see, Oliver, I love Sylvia. And Sylvia loves me. We're a couple and we love each other. What happened? I mean, what happened between us? Between you and me, Oliver, between the two of us, was uh, simply a mistake. <laughs> Call it what you will. A moment of weakness. A weakness. That's all. You see, I wasn't being myself. I was like a man possessed. But I want you to understand, though, I hold nothing against you. No rancor, no spite. I have some affection for you. I believe you are a decent man. I, I don't believe you influenced me or, or tempted me in any way or that your motives were malicious. I was as responsible as you were. But we both made a mistake, that's all. I wish you well, Oliver. There are no hard feelings, but the memory of what happened. Now that I seem to have regained my senses, the memory of what happened between us, of the thing that happened between us, that memory fills me with shame and disgust. Those men, Oliver, the ones you so eloquently described. I am not like them, and they are not like me. If you want me to be honest, if you want to know the honest truth, Oliver, I despise them. <clears throat> that isn't too strong a word. I have to be honest with you, I, I pity and despise them. I've seen them, I see them in a crowd on the bus, on the street, and they disgust me. The way they walk, the way they look at you, all in the same way, and I'm not like that. And I don't think you are either. So we must put this behind us. It's for the best. I promise you, it's for the best. One day you'll thank me. You'll understand that I did this to protect you in some way from yourself. You'll understand that in my own strange way it, it was my gift to you. My parting gift. 